Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Age of Fear 3, The Legend. We are in the middle of the beginning of the tutorial of something along those lines. Anyhow, we're playing the Dryad campaign, and it looks like we could have escaped before the last battle. It looks like we can escape now. I'm going to try this battle, and then we're going to go for the escape. It may be a mistake, it probably is, but we'll see. I don't know if we're gaining any like extra experience or anything from this, or if there's like a bonus for fighting through till we are forced to escape. I'm assuming that's also an option. I have no idea, but we're gonna try it and see. Lord Zill has been quite yeah, no, 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 it's not gonna happen this time. All right, it's been quite quiet thus far. Only now does he seem to be getting excited. This is probably a bad sign. Hopefully, he's not about to unleash something too sinister. But wait. Spies reported to me about a vampire hydra in Lord Azil's lair. Does this old geezer plan to release that horror on my couple? That would be most inconvenient. They cannot defeat such a monstrosity, not without proper training and weapons. This is insane. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. This is probably not going to go well for me. Oh, boy, howdy. There's a thing there that's going to kill me. What on earth? We can't beat that. Fight it, uh, distract them. I'll find a way out. What? This battle is unwinnable, and the story will continue after the level is lost. However, you are welcome to try and win. Your army will be restored follow, uh, following combat. Okay, so probably a better choice to not go to this point. But hey, you know what? It's all part of the story. I think it's pretty cool, so I like it. Let's do it. All right, so she's going to totally find a way out. Just not while defeating the Hydra of Doom with 12 hit points versus our 3 and our 4 hit points. Yeah, I feel like we may be outclassed slightly. And by slightly, I mean massively. Under the influence of the foul necromancer's magic, the ancient Hydra's body mutates and rises as a fearsome undead beast. The vampire Hydra has lost its natural regeneration, yet it can now eat people's souls and drink their blood. No, uh, it can now replenish its power by drinking mortal blood. All right, so it's a big target, which means something spectacular, I'm sure. It's just larger, I, I guess. Does, is there a bonus or not bonus to it? Let's see. Ah, minus two defense against ranged. Good thing we have so many archers on our side. Awkward. It's got bloodlust. Oh, that's bad. Dark Blessing, let's see what else, Despair Attack, 1d3 Morale Loss and Hit, oh well that's fantastic, it's an Elite, so our soul is his, it's got a Life Drain Attack, a Multi Attack, yeah, I, I don't, I just don't want to be sad anymore, so we're not going to continue to read what he has, because it will make us sad, well, doesn't that look menacing, I do like the sound of, of horrible awfulness impending in the background, the music definitely represents that, well, does she have, like, a regular ranged attack? Or is it just the netting? I think it's just... Can we net... Can we... We're gonna net you, buddy. What's that? Ha! That did not work. Run for your life! Uh, uh, but I... Uh... Darkness is my way. Yeah, we totally got this. Don't even... Oh, did I move too far? I did. Can I undo that? I can't undo that either. Oh, that's bad. Well, that's awkward. I should have stepped slightly closer to the creature. Oh, I can't undo it. Never mind. I'm totally happy and excited again. Can I attack from there? Looks like I can. Oh, we have such a high percent chance to hit him. Yeah, this is bad. Oh, look at all that healthy regen. Oh, there goes our morale. All right, there are all the shortcut keys, Dispali keys, <laughs> Dispali the shortcut keys, help, zoom, toggle, UI, next unit, context, mouse dragging, navigate, tutorial, smart camera, view tutorial, toggle, action log. Yeah, we know all these things now. All right, so, super bad Juju Magumbo's about to go down. Let's see if we can't de Juju Magumbo this. Ha! Oh yeah, you're netted now. You've got no chance against us. Heh. Yeah. Keep telling Dark yourself that, buddy. Hit him once. Make your mark. Yes. Okay, now we can lose. I'm totally okay with that. I know he's just going to regen all the damage that we do, but eh. It's still funsies to try. 
Clever boy. Clever boy. I'm curious, can we escape him while he's he's gnetted? I know it's not gnetted, but still. Oh, here we go. We're gonna go for the, the ultra backstab murder death kill here. It's going down like a sweet muffin right here. Ugh. Yep, boy howdy, did he not survive that at all? Can I move and still do things? Nope, that's fine. Ah! What did he tail whip us? Nari has been blocked by enemy. Shooters and spellcasters are very vulnerable to melee combat. As long as the enemy is standing next to your unit, the most spell sorry, the most of spells and ranged attacks will be disabled. All right. I can't heal. That's disappointing. Can I control you? Yeah. The power of no, we can't control you with anything. Oh, we got a 40% chance. Yeah. Oh, get wrecked. It's not going to go well for us. Oh, you have an AoE attack. Boy, that seems familiar. I wonder what other game has a Hydra with AoE attacks. Hmm. Crap, this thing's too strong. Run! Don't give up, Balvar. We can still do it. No, no, we can't. You are full of malarkey, lady. You are, you are whimsical to be sure, but you are wrong. And you're also not alive anymore, so there's that. Well, Balvar, over here! My roots have weakened this wall. Quickly, smash it. It's high time. This thing's a menace. Step aside, girl. Hulk smash! Alright, the battle is lost. In some scenarios, losing a battle is an expected result and may unlock new heroes, items, or alter alternative game flow. Do you want to leave the battle? Do I? I hope so. I hope that was the right choice. The pair, the pair took one look at what they were up against and were ready to escape. The question is, how the hell did they manage it? Lord Azil knows that this happens with you. What? That this happens with you put unbroken creatures against hopeless odds. Maybe this happens when you put unbroken creatures against hopeless odds? He's got his men out looking for them. I get the impression that this is what he wanted. A pair of monsters loose in his city? An excuse to hunt. On a more optimistic note, they're not dead yet. My reputation would have taken quite a blow if my beast had actually died on the first day. They must be in the sewers somewhere. Woe well, betide whatever dwarves find them. It took a whole team of hunters to capture them, so poor city guards are going to get trampled. Okay, so it looks like it's been a couple of hours since the beasts the beats escape the arena. The city guard have dot 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 click to start. Alright, let's click to start and do it. It's been a couple of hours since the beats escaped the arena. The city guard have assured us that they have not managed to escape the city yet, but it's only a matter of time. Lord Azil finds the whole thing hilarious. They've gone and run away from the arena and gotten lost in the sewers. He just keeps laughing. Somehow I think that must have been Lord Azil's plan from the start. Treacherous dwarves. Now we have to deal with this problem. Apparently there are giant rats down there. Maybe they will just eat the beasts. Sure. Ah, there's giant rats down here. We already knew that. Aw, such a big drider is afraid of a few little mice? You seriously have something wrong with your head, girl. Stay behind me. Yeah, first try. All right, let's continue on. And hopefully we survive the horrible, horrible rats of doom. Probably going to. Alright, so it looks like we have a treasure chest, a crate that has nothing in it, another crate that has nothing in it, and a third crate that has nothing in it. And the treasure chest seems to have 100 gold in it and some mana restorative potion inside. Alright. Let's hop into the close side of life. And I'm not sure what I want to do here. Oh, I can control people's minds, can't I? How far can they move? I feel like that's... Oops. I feel like... Uh-oh. I feel like that's an important thing. Do we do we get to see that? Oh, if we hover over it, that's how far they can move. Okay. I can dig that. That's that's okay for me. I'm going to move here. I'm going to move here. Oh, 
Oh, splendid. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean they are going to move that far. It just means that they could. Upgrade your heroes early in the campaign for better loot. Most treasure is randomly generated at the start of the campaign. Loot might vary between playthroughs. Replayability, anyone? Huh? Huh? Hmm? Let's get the plague rat on our side. Oh, wait, this only works on plants. Never you mind. Totally knew that. I did, but I just forgot, so meh. Alright, let's waddle on in there. Slap the plague rat. Oh boy, that didn't work. Alright, well, let's trap you. And we're probably not gonna die. I, I, don't, I don't know. We'll see. I figured one would still make it over to us. Okay, so, Dryder, that is your real name. Let us slay your opponent. Oh, they're they're afraid of us. They are fearful little tykes. Well, I don't like being hurt. I think I'm going to heal up. Yes. Apparently I can't do that because of reason. Does it only work? Or maybe I misclicked. Huh. Does it only work on others? Well, hold on, what does it say? Uh, medium range. They're unaffected. Heals two, removes poison, disease, and intoxicated. Heal me. I guess you can only heal others. Alright, well, whatever. We learned. We learned. I didn't actually mean to do that. That was a mistake. It's fine. I do like the fact that once you commit to an action, you can't undo the action. But if you move and you move into a spot that's not great, it will allow you to move again. I think that's a pretty good strategy or plan. Eh, they did well. well. They did very well. I wouldn't hate the idea. Now, again, this doesn't matter too much. Oh, it works. I wonder why it wasn't working there for a minute. Oh, it centers on them without actually selecting. Okay, I guess that's okay, too. Or maybe it does select to hold them. Oh, it does. Why wasn't it giving me the movement thing, then? I don't know. I do weird stuff all the time. It's fine. Yuck. All right, slaughtered. All right, so we defeated the rats. No big deal. But we want to do some of the looting. So we shall do that right now. I think we have to end our turn. There we go. Clever boy. Oh, it's going to net the... <laughs> of course it is. Why wouldn't it? Alright, well, we're just gonna bust it open because of, you know, reasons. Alright, so we got our gold and we got our potion. Okay, pretty happy with that outcome. Let's, uh, end the battle. And yes, move on to the next area. This sewer stinks more than you do. Ugh, it really stinks. Dryad, don't tempt me. I'll... Oh, is Spidey getting upset? Wait, you hear that? Uh, monster? Sounds big. Maybe another Hydra. Or a water dragon. Should we kill it? Yeah, we should. Let's kill it. This is a bad idea. I already know that I'm going to get myself into so much trouble. It's going to be ridiculous. Or it's going to be cray-cray, as they say. I wonder if we're going to heal up from the last, but we did. Oh, it's a dwarf. Whoops. He's become Arnold the Dwarf, it's fine. Dwarves? S forest Lady? Oh, uh, what? Uh, what is that ugly beast? Ugly beast? What a... They must have followed us. Kill Shorty! Yeah. I feel like this is bad. This is going to poorly affect the outcome of my campaigns. But... Death to the stunties. How far can you move, buddy? Not very far. Okay, so we, we do have some some ground to uh, do some stuff here. There's a grain bag that doesn't contain anything. Doesn't contain anything. Uh, hundred gold. And nothing. And that's it, right? Indeed. All right. All right, Spidey. Let's get on up there and do Spidey things. Got it. 
I don't know. Maybe this is good. Maybe we're going to not kill him, and then he's going to join us, and we'll be like, yeah, we got three people, and then we're going to start feeling more powerful. I don't know. Could be totally wrong. We'll see. Thank you for supporting indie developers. Please enjoy your game. Indie developers are amazing, and I do support them in many, many, many endeavors, so thank you for thanking me. All right, I feel like this is a weird hitbox this guy has, but it looks like it works. Uh, I guess we could net you, yeah. buddy? Now, what exactly does netting do beyond just prevents them from moving? Oh, his defense is lower, too. Okay, cool. Ha! Fool! I'm gonna punch him in the face. Or miss. Twice. Because of, you know, reasons. Here comes trouble! Oh, wow. Well. He, he's doing the whole drunken master thing, and I just I can't hit him when he's like that. I guess. Please go down like a sweet. Mo he's just not gonna cooperate, is he? Yuck. All right, we'll try it again. I should really net first and then beat him to death with the guy, which I think is what I'm gonna do this time because it lowers his defense, so his uh, so his percentage to hit should be high. Wow, my RNG is as bad as it ever is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he seems to not really fancy getting murdered. I suppose oh, I can understand that. All right, take him down. I wonder what would happen if I let him like run away or something. Because I feel like, eh, I don't know. I feel like that was a little too straightforward. I was expecting maybe like that guy would actually join us, but eh, I'm fine with it either way. All right, let's go break open the chest and get paid. Cash monies. All right, and there's a little dead mouse over there too. That might be Algernon. No one, no one. All right, it's fine. All right, Lord Azil informed me shortly before I departed that they think the beasts encountered some drunks in the sewers somewhere. Suffice to say, last night a bunch of dwarves took it upon themselves to flee the city after being thrown down there. When confronted, they were quite adamant about getting as far away from the city as possible. I think it's clear they saw something down there. Rumors say they managed to break into one of the warehouses and steal a significant number of powder kegs before they fled. I know monsters can be scary, but powder kegs? Dwarves are weird folk. That's how they cut their beer. They, they, they dump or their ale, I'm sorry. They dump powder, uh, like gunpowder in there. It's fine. Wait, quiet now. Sorry, sorry. Guards, they're looking for us. And there's some more rats and spiders too. Hello, where do I have to click? There we go. Wait, don't rush. Those spiders look hungry for human snacks. You want them to eat each other? Clever girl, we wait. Do we, or do we just charge in like crazy people? I'm leaning toward the murder of crazy and stuff. It's, it's fine. All right, let's take a look around the stuff. Is there anything to be had? Nine gold in the barrel. Three gold in the grain bag. A ruby, ooh, inside the crate. Nothing in that one. Nothing. I would say that I would like like an escape, like using escape or I don't know, something to get out of those menus would be nice. But at the same time, I, I don't know if that would be useful. Like I, I'm I'm very big on keyboard commands and shortcuts and stuff for most of what I do. There's occasions where I like to use the mouse more than other times, but for the most part I like using the keyboard, like I open up a menu and then I hit escape to close it. And that's just how I'm used to doing things and what I like. So for me, having to click OK every time is like, ugh, it's a, just a minor frustration, but it's all right. All right, so we just wait? Really? That seems a bit silly. I wonder if we're outside the line of sight. Oh, whatever. We'll just sit here. Oh, the spiders are actually like Spider-Man. They shoot webs. Oh, that footman got wrecked. Ah, please, mercy. I don't think you're going to get any mercy, buddy. Oh, one rat down. Okay, in this battle there are several independent enemy groups. 
Enemies belonging to different groups, distinguished by different colors on their sprite circles. Okay, gray and blue, nice. They will fight each other and the player as well. It's the player's decision if he wants to hop into the fight right away or wait until the enemies weak at each other. I want to hop in right away now. I, I've, I've waited long enough. It is time that I charge in. I mean, this has got to be very intimidating to them after seeing, oh, there's a giant spider, gi and then there's a giant spider man that's like terrifying. Like, yeah, it's it's got to be, you know, in the forefront of their mind. Like, hey, maybe that's a bigger threat. So the humans are in kind of a bad situation now. <laughs> Oh good, the Bowman's gonna have an issue. I, does poison do damage? Or, I, I'm assuming it does. It doesn't matter, that guy died. He pooped himself and he ran. Ideally, I wanna kill the Plague Rat. Oh, they have a Pikeman over there too, cool. So, for me... That's, nope. Let's try it again. I need to get the Excellent. right angle. Can, hmm. can she physically make that move and attack? It looks like she can. Oh, but she missed. Oh, that's the worst. Hmm. Well, I guess there's no accounting for RNG, right? Oh, we done got poisoned ourselves. The rats are now freaked out a bit. I think we're in an okay situation. I mean, we'll see. Also, let's get a little closer to the action. I feel like we're too far away. We want to see the whites of their eyes when we slaughter their so... I don't know, it's fine. So they're still kind of split on who they want to focus. I don't hate that. Um... Yeah. Nope, that didn't work. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, end him, and then end this guy. Well, at least hurt this guy. You can't technically end him, but he's wounded, and he's not having a good time. I have a feeling the rat and the spider might go after Nairi. Nope, the rat's still freaked out. The bowman's like, I want to escape, and the spider's like, I don't think so. Oh, he's still escaped, even though he was netted. How did that happen? That seems odd. That seems like that shouldn't have been a thing. Here comes trouble. Punch him, yeah! Irie's like, heh. Bring it, I'm ready. Spider down, okay. We'll end the turn, the rat fled as well. Alright, well, whatever. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. I can't net you? Oh, Aww. Sad Bumpy is sad. And he's like, ah, if only you were close enough, by golly, I could... Oh, well, I don't... That's perfect. Yes, do that. Do that thing that you just did. Because guess what? That's I can do boy. it too. Eh? Eh? <laughs> don't run. Like you can't. Because you're stuck. Victory! Alright, let's go and loot everything. I think we just need to end the turn, and then we're free oh, to loot. Give me that monies. Excellent. Uh oh, surprise! Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like I like surprises. I mean, it's not the the best surprise I could have had, but I, I don't despise this in any way, shape, or form. I think that's actually quite cool. What's that? Yeah, no, we're we're still doing stuff. Thank you for. I do like the the like music that plays. Like you you've succeeded! Yay! I like that. I've always liked that. You guys know this. Like, I always feel like that's a thing that should always happen. If you do something amazing in a video game, especially, you should get rewarded by, like, epic sounds or fireworks going off or something, you know? It shouldn't just be like, oh, we leveled up. Uh, it's just kind of mad, right? Well, now that I know there can be enemies inside, and it doesn't show us that there's enemies inside, I sort of want to break open everything there is to break open in, like, every map ever. I also want to be a little bit cautious with my uh, breaking open catch. of objects moving forward because... Oh, I think I'm going to back her up a bit. There we go. Because I have a feeling like there might be a point later in the game where we have to go open something or break something open and do it while we're in the middle of like combat or in the middle of 
the mission like that's gonna be how we succeed and we might open something and it's gonna be some bad juju magumbo going down all right so we got everything that we could get i am quite happy with that we got ourselves a pearl so if we ever find a shop or anything else i would be looking pretty good all right let's end this map and i think it's about time for us to end the episode as well but we'll get to the point where we're at the next area before we do that Actually, no, we'll do it right here. This is perfect. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed the second episode. I think we're about out of the whole tutorialized area, and we're starting the game proper. I'm enjoying my time so far. hope you guys are as well. Don't forget to leave a like, guys and gals, especially in the early parts of a series. It always helps with visibility, views, and all that other stuff. So definitely do that. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the game. Like I said, it released on September 1st, 2017. Go grab it. Grab the whole series. It looks like it's going to be an amazing series from beginning to end. So I'm looking forward to playing this, going back to play number one and number two, which the developer was kind enough to supply both of those to me as well. Above and beyond, that's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And whatever four comes out, I'm looking forward to checking that out as well. Until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.